this is the dance. It's actually the dance of life. And originally I, I titled it The Life of a Firefly. <laughs> but um, this is the story of a woman who um, actually danced the death of her father. And she did it as a way to understand his death. And I went and photographed her um, doing this dance up on the Red Rocks in Sedona. And I chose 13 images. At the time, I wasn't even thinking about how 13 is a woman's number, 13 moons. Um, but when I first started, I just had the drawings down, and I had no idea that these were angelic beings at all. Paintings develop kind of through me. So um, when I when I just I started just painting their gowns, and at one point. I saw that <laughs> there were wings on them, and I was like, oh my goodness, and they weren't of the earth yet. So it, the idea is that there is no death, that there's simply a return. There's like a stretching of the light body, but there's simply a return to the original state of being. But each of the stick kind of represents the burden. Um, at least in this lady's dance it did. And so here she's earthbound and there's already the gravity is taking her down, but she never really forgets. When she can tune in, she can remember her wholeness, but she's on this earth walk. And here, this is the middle. So she's kind of coming into a surrender, holding a mudra here, the final breath, staving off, the final act. The final act comes in three parts. The harvest, the remembering of life, and, and the jewels that life has brought to her in this life. Understanding that she was always whole, and she was returning to it. And then the final surrender. And all this is one stick because it's one act. And then as soon as she lets go, she, she remembers who she truly is. And this kind of talks about the sands of time. Um, and the purple and gold just seemed so appropriate to um, not just the idea of resurrection, but that we never really leave that state in our life.